Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dre. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to um make your eye real thumbnails look better. So let's straight to it. But before we get into the video, let's get a quick wave check going real quick. Ain't gonna lie, a lot of y'all been clean boy down telling me that I couldn't get waves in the comment section. Hey, I got them waves now. Nah. It's a wave check, yeah, it's a wave check Yours ain't hitting like mine's a warrior waves in Your waves looking out of order, need to tame that Mix you some pomade with some water, get your waves back It's a wave check, yeah, it's a wave check Yours ain't hitting like mine's Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you get in here Really what this all going to be about You just want to up your brightness So you, you would just come over here, tap on this And you go to brightness and contrast And say for instance, I took this off you can see the difference so you just want to make sure you have your brightness right on the thumbnail and you probably just go up here and i already got this like this stuff saturated and i got the brightness on here but if you want to add that which will make it look better go down here and go to brightness and contrast and make sure you add brightness to the thumbnail so this is just an example of a thumbnail right here this is my vibrance as you can see like when i take this off it look a little dull so you can add saturation and vibrance to it also and I'm gonna just go through the, out the thumbnail and you can see like on different examples I got different features and stuff and a lot of it dealing with um, brightness and contrast so for example right here if I take the brightness off of this you can see a big difference in it so just make sure you got your brightness right but I'm gonna show all my settings and stuff after this so I'm just showing y'all that y'all need to have your brightness right but I'm gonna show all the settings now so to actually get that done you just want to start from the top then come all the way down hold shift and select the last layer and you want to group everything after you do that hit control j then you want to go up here right click and you want to basically merge the group or you can just hit control e to merge it wait for it to load up and hit m on your keyboard and go across with the marquee tool and hit control j so after you do that right click this and convert it to a smart object so before you do this now you can do this after or before but i'm just do before make a new layer hit b on your keyboard go to the brush tool these are my settings up here and hold alt and then click a color and then click again with that color hold alt click color and click again with that color and you just want to do this around the whole thumbnail and this gonna make it look better also so do this i'm gonna show you me doing this on everything boom 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 and yeah after you do that you want to go to stream and you can see like the color it lights the color up so you can see like the different effects and stuff but when you do this make sure you load opacity on screen and you can do linear dodge also on it but just do screen make sure you do that so now what you want to do go to filter and camera raw filter all right so once you get in here saying like if you don't have the um presets and stuff one thing that can make the thumbnail look better is texture so you can just up the texture on the thumbnail and i see a lot of people do that and it does make it look better because that's what a lot of real youtube do so make sure you up your texture and you can up the exposure to get a little bit more brightness in it you can mess with the contrast also and let me see you can add a little bit more vibrance and saturation if you want to so those things will definitely make it look better but like i say that's if you don't have the presets now i have presets so this is what number like preset i would use some around this but if you want a preset just let me know in the comment section so I'm going to go through here and pick one, then I'm going to show you the next thing I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to just do this right here. And then now that I do this, the next thing I'm going to do is go to Filter and Magic Bullet. I'm going to put all the videos and stuff on how to get this in the comment section. So you won't have nothing to worry about. Or just hit me up on Discord or Twitter or just hit me in the comment section and I got you. Now, next thing I do is this right here and this is called the Fusion. Now, you can mess with the gray and the size of this. And personally, like on each type of IRL thumbnail because it's different types. I do this a lot so just copy these type of settings and you can kind of put it how you want you can add the hazler copy those auto shoulder and also mess with this but i don't really use this that much on our thumbnails but i still use it now this lens distortion you can do this also i recently just started doing this but if you do it don't do it a lot so you can just do something like this right here and then when you get done just hit finish on this and so after you do that you want to go to topaz labs right here and then you can just go to mild detail and don't add too much of this also but you can just add a little bit of it and up the strength on it and then hit apply but if you feel like you add too much of that just go to filter and noise and then you want to reduce the noise on it and just copy those settings to do it and you can up the strength on that a little bit so it can look something like that so after doing all that next thing you want to do hit control J on this go to filter blur and then you want to go to gauge and blur and just have something like that and go to lighter color and it should look kind of blurred out like that and you can just up there a little bit and 
after you do all that, go to virus again and mess with the saturation once more. And that's pretty much how I do it. And you can mess with this also since you're in a thumbnail. But after you do that, you pretty much done with the thumbnail. And that's how you make it look a little bit better. Now, Topaz is just, you can take that off if you feel like I really don't use that. But I'm just showing it as an example because I don't use it that much, like I said. But that's pretty out and put pretty much all the settings. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe and let's get it. Say what's up. What's up, guys? What y'all gonna say? What's up? We back with another video and this, any of dragon finna do this video. Yeah. And get a thousand likes on that video. Yo. Yeah. 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 And we want a lot of subscribe. Yeah. On my outro. Do the outro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's me. The outro. You saying welcome back. That means you gotta you gotta talk like the video just ended. I uh, outro give us a thousand likes and did y'all like the video? Peace.